everyone. Welcome to this episode of The Latest Thread. Um, so this week, we decided to do something kind of a little bit different. We don't have an, like a, a real topic, but we thought it might be fun, you know, especially being the first episode of the new year to kind of catch up because I think even us, we've been doing our own thing for a few weeks and kind of, you know, haven't been working a lot. So, you know, hopefully you all had a chance to take a break away from work, maybe work on something for yourself or something you needed to get done, whatever. Um, so I personally haven't worked on anything quilty, sadly. Um, I've been, you know, when winter comes, I become like needing to do home improvement house stuff. It's consuming. So I've been redoing my bedroom, painting, making curtains. Yesterday I got up and uh, emptied the dishwasher <laughs> and realized that, you know, the cupboards start out all organized really well, but then, you know, you're in a hurry and they just kind of get the stuff tossed and I could no longer open the door, put it in without slamming the door real quick so it doesn't all fall back out. <laughs> so that started like a whole One of these day. actions. <laughs> yeah, pulling everything out, reorganizing. So not fun stuff, but stuff that needed done. How about you guys? Very quilty. <laughs> I'm going next. I have props. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am actually working on a real a bed quilt. So I have all my pieces. First stitch done, now I gotta cut them in half and then sew those all together. Really quick pattern though. What is it? It's um double slice. I always wanna say double cut, but I think it's called double slice. It's um Missouri Star. So it's not like those rolls. No, it's um uh flyer cakes. Oh, okay. You 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 where am I at? You cut off like three and a half inches and you mix them all up and you sew those two together and then you turn it this way and cut it in half and then mix them up and flip one and sew all those together. So it, it's like mindless sewing and I really needed some mindless sewing after sitting, sitting with my ankle. I needed mindless sewing. So, <laughs> And this is the only other thing I'm working on, which is an embroidery which I started, yeah. Well, there's gonna be like four more of them. I started this when I was stuck sitting from my ankle, so. But it's pretty. Are, do, are you using uh, parts of your mandala for that? Um, no, this is just one that I hand drew, but I could have used my mandalas for this. I didn't even think about that. I was just sitting there. So I drew one up and made it. Is it gonna go into a quilt? Yeah, this, this I think there'll be four of these and then I'll make a real pretty center one. So nice. nice. Yeah. So that's what I'm working on. So I've not been working on anything quilty at this particular moment. I moved a couple months ago and like Jody, I need to do some home stuff while it's cold outside. Um, I thought I'd do the, the, the good deed on lining cabinets. You know, after I moved everything in, all the dishes, you know, at the time I was in a hurry, I thought now it's time to take everything back out and line the shelves, that kind of stuff. Um, I have a lot of blank walls. So I'm trying to figure out, as you can see behind me, it's pretty boring, but um, so I'm, I'm trying to decide, I wanna do some picture frames that hold different pictures all in one frame, like a collage type thing. Um, so maybe work on a whole cloth to put on a couple of the walls, that kind of thing. It's really hard to decide um, I moved into an old house, so I have to be careful because some of the walls are actually plaster. Mm -hmm. So it's banging into <laughs> wall. Okay, one little nail <laughs> hole turns out to be like this. <laughs> so, you know, home improvement kind of thing. It's kind of nice. 
Uh, my daughter gave me a scanning cut for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on a few things. Yeah, I guess it's Christmassy, but no, it's wintry. It's kind of fun to work on some other things other than quilting, take a little break. Um, but I'm hoping, um, I have a lot of cork fabric, so I'm gonna see if I can cut out some applique shape with the skin and cut out of the cork to be used for an applique kind of project. So nothing specific, all over the place. <laughs> All right, Sharon, what about you? What are you working on? Well, uh, it's always super busy for us heading up until Christmas with customer quilts to get them finished for customers. So um, it's been a really nice, relaxing couple of weeks with kids and binge watching some Netflix shows and working on puzzles. I love doing puzzles um, and actually sewing. There's a couple of times a week that some friends and I get together and we just sit and sew and work on projects and we, we gab and... Um, it motivate each other and so it's kind of fun so one of the blocks I'm working on is this one right here and I have nine uh, or eight other colors to make the same block from the colors that are inside that light print there so I have that one and then I have another quilt that I'm working on that I have all of the piece blocks done it's a sampler quilt but there's um plain alternate blocks so I have this little, this is a, a half inch finish, this little strip, and then I've got a black to go around it. And so those will be my alternate blocks for my pieced quilt. And so it's kind of nice to use the holidays to, to actually sew a little bit, right? I'll, I'll stick to my line list. So. <laughs> well, the problem is, is that when I, when I sew with my friends on Zoom, um, you're not always 100% focused, and I make a ton of mistakes. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> I try to get my, like, cutting and prep stuff done. It's like before you go to retreat, right? If you can get a whole bunch of the stuff you have to pay attention to, like the cutting and prep done, and then you can just sit and sew, and then it's not so risky. Yeah. Yeah. But new custom things in the works for all of us, I'm sure, soon. Mm -hmm. When we have to go back to work. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I have one other thing, but I'm not working on it yet, but it's all Jody's fault. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> but it's going to be awesome. I'll, sh I'll show you now because it'll be the before. So I got this panel. Ooh, nice. Isn't that nice? It's like, it almost looks like um, alcohol ink on something. So I'm going to quilt this. And Thanks. Hopefully and did you see, I saw somebody post um, somewhere, uh, I don't know where, apparently there's a wide back. That was me. Oh, was it you? Oh, it was yeah. you. Right. Yeah. Is yeah. It? That would be like, you could put a giant border around it with that, like make it a bed quilt. Yeah. What is yeah. it? It was it's just a big extra wide back and it's just that exactly that there was no deer on it, but it was all like mountains and trees and it just looked like watercolor splotches all over it really yeah like it, all same colors and everything do you have a salvage edge on that stalk your pit huh do you have a salvage edge on that to see it who it's made by whispering pines by yes. melody samra for northcott northcott yeah so it's from the same line is it yeah while you guys chat, I'll pull it up on my page and then you guys can take a peek at it. Well, darn it. Now I'm going to have to make another quilt with the backing and just quilt it. <laughs> if that's what your customer did, right, Sharon? They just did that yeah. at the front, right? Yeah, yeah. She actually owns a, a quilt shop in um, Claire's home, which is uh, only a couple hours uh, south from me. And she just got the fabric in and she just brought it over to me right away. She just cut like three meters off and said, I need you to quilt this and I actually have found it here so I'll um I'll share my screen and show you yeah let's see oh wow yeah that's yeah. really pretty and it looks like it's got that kind of splooshy mm -hmm. like like you said like a what did Almost you say alcohol ink yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah wow. I think I might have to get some of that 
there's a there's a 40 wide panel in it as well but um the 60 what or not the 60 wide the 108 back what a, what an easy way to make a new bedspread right i'd have to add a board because we're covered hogs with dogs so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and so the the scene is going along the length of the bolt oh so it's 108 it this way from top yeah. to bottom yeah, so I loaded it sideways. Oh, so you could just find I loaded it sideways because of the pattern I wanted to put on it. I wanted the ripples from the waves going a certain direction, not the other way. So I loaded it the other yeah. way. I always do ours 125 by usually 90 to 108, depending. Mm -hmm. So that would work. I just have to make it wider. Because once you, once you put the dogs in the middle, you <laughs> lose like this much cover. <laughs> and she put wool in the... Um, and as batting just a layer of wool so even if it's big a big quilt and it'll be nice and light so yeah. yeah yeah everybody thinks that that wool is real heavy and it's not at all no. light it's light and soft and fluffy mm -hmm. the first and time it's a natural I insulator it, yeah. i thought because everyone said it was so warm mm -hmm. and we ended up using it for a summer quilt because i like a really heavy quilt yeah, that feels really like cold. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. i like it. yeah it even, I will use it in the winter and the summer. So our extreme cold and then, I, I wouldn't say extreme hot because I'm in the same room here as other people who have more extreme hot than me, but extreme hot for me. <laughs> I'll share some of the extreme hot in July. I'll send you some. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when we were on tour where, I don't remember where we were, but you and I went out after a day of teaching and we soaked our feet in the pool. Louisiana. Oh, yeah. no, the pool. I thought you were going to talk about when your glasses were fogging up. Oh, that was Miss that was Louisiana. Yeah, something, something there in that. Yeah. But we had our feet in the pool and we took a picture of our legs because my legs were lily white, like milk <laughs> bottles. And, and yours, of course, were the Florida tan. And we we're like, guess who the Canadian is? <laughs> yeah. I Fun times. We were sitting on the roof, I think, in Baton Rouge. And then yes. she's like, what is going on? Her glasses are just fogging from the humidity nonstop. Steam. Like you go from inside to outside and it was just like, it's like nowadays when you wear a mask and your glasses fog up, you just can't see a darn thing. <laughs> yep. So this past week I was quilting something and I did something that I've done many, many times. Please tell me this is not just me right? So I was quilting and I felt something, you know, you feel there's something either it's on my wheel or on my track. Mm -hmm. Do you think I stopped to nope. see what it was? Nope. I was like, no, it's like right in there. Mm -hmm. So I'll just <laughs> brace for it every time. Yeah. I feel like you know right where it's coming and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> instead of going around there and just seeing what it was, because I like, I didn't feel like it. Yeah. We, we are too lazy, I think. Oh, we just stop. want, we don't want to stop to no, go. No, but we think we can muscle through it. We'll get it later. Yeah. It's okay. And usually you kind of can't. I mean, kind of. Your mind goes, mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that the equivalent to that little thing, that little thread or something on the carpet and you're vacuuming and you can't get it? So you just keep going over it and yeah, over you don't it. Down instead down of just it. stopping and picking it up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my <laughs> Probably the same as the rotary blade. Like I'll make two passes. I have a whole thing of new blades, but mm, I don't want to. You have to stop. Use them. You're in that moment of, of thought or creativity or whatever. And if you have to stop, go get the new blade, come back. It might pass. So you can't let it pass. <laughs> well, and the longer you wait, when you do finally change it, it's oh. like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It is. One <laughs> pass. <laughs> Why did I wait so long? <laughs> we were at retreat once and my friend put a new blade in and she cut all of the fabric for an entire quilt. I think she must've been cutting for like two hours or something. And she didn't realize it, but she had two blades in instead of one. So uh -huh. every, <laughs> every cut she made, there was a tiny little pithy row of fringe fabric dust fabric pith right 
And, and she was like, this fabric is garbage. She was like, I don't know where I got this fabric from, but it's garbage. Look at it. It's like linting everywhere all over my board. And I come over and look and I look at her blade and I'm like, dude, you have two blades in here. <laughs> wanted to cut double fast. <laughs> she cut out a whole quilt like that. <laughs> wow. Yep. Craziness. I had some funny stories. <laughs> I think we all have funny stories. <laughs> I miss going to a retreat. Yeah. And I, we, we used to go for a few years with a, another group of ladies. And it was so much fun. Didn't always get a lot of sewing done. But, yeah, just being together. And we were really lucky. We stayed in this house. And one of the ladies, she owned a deli. So she literally brought all the food for us for the whole four days we were there. And she just wanted a small fee, you know, for bringing the stuff. But not only did she bring all of it, she insisted on preparing every meal with the things that she had brought. We were truly spoiled. Yeah, because it was I, nice. It had a bell. Ava's going to. We sat on me all all night drinking wine yakking it was fun that would be me at retreat i would not sew i would just sit and do nothing it's like i sew every day why would i want to sew this is like vacation okay <laughs> it's always for me it's i went to the same one with ava and it's one or the other so i either go there with like a mission and i work really hard the whole time because i don't i can't do that at home or I go there and do nothing. nothing. And honestly, those ones were the best. Yeah, I brought all that sewing stuff and set it up. But yeah, just sitting outside and hanging out was probably, you know, a better retreat, actually, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to do whatever it is you need to recharge. And if you that's what you feel like doing. Yeah. Yeah. Someday we'll all be able to go on retreats again, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's missing it so much. Yeah. Not, not the retreat to the kitchen or the retreat to the living room. We want to like go out the front door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, sounds like we've all been busy. And um, we look forward to the next episode where we will go back to having some sort of a topic. Um, it'd be really great for us if y'all could maybe suggest some topics. Um, we'd love to hear what you'd like to hear us talk about. So we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.